Welcome everyone to my channel Space Remote Sensing and GIS and today I'm going to show you the technique okay how we are going to extract the oil spill from the SAR images using the SNAP okay so that I'm trying to explain you over here okay so for that uh, I'm going to use this SNAP uh, 11 the software which I downloaded okay and uh, now uh, before that you need to identify some locations where uh, the oil spill incident is actually happen so uh, for that i am just taking a uh, area nearby the egypt okay so which i have already the data so that i am just uh, going to use for this exercise okay so very first is uh, wherever your data sets will be there you need to add this data to this particular image so you see here, I'm just adding it here. I'm just uh, making it in a separate file so that we can identify it very easily. So as you see, this is the data sets which I'm going to use for this particular analysis. Okay, so I'm just selecting that particular file and then simply click on open. Okay, so once you open this data, so you will see uh, this data will show you over here. Okay, so if you just opening this, try to open, just double click it. Okay, so it may take a little bit of time, so it can open. But better is we can go for the processing and then we will try to open this. Okay, uh, see this data I just open, uh, but where is the oil spill? If you found this area, okay, you see here, okay, uh, there is a clear sharp area which you find. Uh, uh, very black uh, blackish is coming okay even the back scattering over the ships also it's clearly visible okay so we can consider this is as a oil spill which is coming out from this particular ship so now the question is how we are going to make it more better the first things which you have to do that is the subsetting of this particular area so if we want to focus only this much area so i will going to consider this for my study okay so i will just make it like this so this much area i can subset it from the main image to extracting this particular area you need to go to this raster okay and here this option for subset okay so if you want to cut whatever the area you want to see in this particular scene okay so that much only you want to cut you can cut accordingly or if you want to give some coordinate okay and accordingly you have to cut this area you can go for that also okay so as of now i'm just going to cut uh, this area which i already zoomed okay so no need to change anything over here okay and uh, you can simply click on okay so cut this particular area now see uh, if i just give okay so it will take a few second times and it will subset this particular area so if you want to see this uh, the subsetting is done properly or not so you can go expand it open the band just double click on this and you see here okay only this much area is cut up okay so this is my focus area where i will going to do the next step is to clearing this image we are going to apply the filtering over this particular image to make the clear uh, to get a clear image okay so where the noises will going to down okay so that's a process which will going to apply it over this particular subset area for this process we need to go to this uh, radar okay speckle filter you see here this is a single image product okay single product speckle filter so that i'm going to apply it here so if you have the multi-temporal data you can go for the multi-temporal technique okay so as of now we can go with the single product uh, speckle filter technique so i'm just click over the single filter speak of the technique okay the processing parameter if you see you need to apply it over the all the bands or whatever the selected bands you want to apply so over that also you can able to run this information okay so here in this case i'm just using the Lee sigma only i didn't change any window size or something okay so it is by default i'm just making it okay and then wherever you want to save this uh, particular data so it is a new mask it is surfing okay but i can uh, change the location also if you want to uh, change the locations for this particular parameters okay so suppose i'm just trying to give it over uh, oil stressful new demo okay let's see it is uh, saving over here or not okay so let's run it so let for the result so if you want to see this uh, proper curve over this particular cross section okay so using creating uh, this particular tool also you can generate a cross section over this particular area okay so uh, if you see first uh, this is the slider okay so if you see this is the histogram which is actually created over it okay and uh, 
uh, this line this is a polyline drawing tool so using this um, uh, tools you can generate a cross profile also if you want to see the cross profile of this particular so to make it is in a better so you can make it uh, linear to db okay so you can convert it as a band okay you see here this is now converted as a band okay so now here you can now drag this also okay so for this only uh, if you want to go for any kind of uh, particular cross sections okay so to see where is the exact dip or will be there okay so because we have to see this uh, changes of that particular cro uh, cross profile will give you the idea of the changes of this signals okay how it is changing over the oil spill areas than the surroundings okay so that what we can target to extract the informations from the oil spill so uh, like that we have a specific tool okay so for the cross profile okay i'm going to use this okay just like this okay so we have this tool and uh, using this tool you can go for the the analysis part also okay so just uh, it, uh, it is not done properly uh, one minute it's yes as you seen here this is what the cross cross profile we created okay so this is just nothing here you can just go here click the plot profile okay so and you just simply draw a line okay so that is what uh, this cross profile will going to show you over here okay so it's all about this particular lines which you are drawing i i just draw <laughs> the many lines because to show you there okay but uh, this is the way you can see this is the particular range where uh, this oil spill is actually showing the changes okay in the other backscattering value so now uh, the objective is how to extract the oil spill so let's close everything okay and start uh, doing to extract the oil spill area so to doing this oil spill uh, we need to go to radar uh, sar applications ocean applications okay and uh, click on this oil spill detection okay so here whatever the outputs uh, your final outputs okay so that only you need to give select over here okay and uh, uh, now uh, you need to go to the land sea mask okay so whatever you want you can uh, go for the by default but here in the calibration mode okay so we can select uh, uh, the most effective band so in this case we are uh, focusing over the vv so vv will the more effective on that so for oil spill you see automatically it will target the vv and extract the informations from this okay so <coughs> that is what um, uh, you need to perform over here and um, uh, this is my target informations vb which i given and then oil spill cluster okay so he okay he can give a certain range over here also okay just uh, checking that uh, whatever you need uh, required for this this is what is required so first time when you are trying so i'm not changing anything ba backgrounds values on all things so you can s uh, simply check uh, change these values and try to extract which one is the perfect to extract this information so as of now i will go with the by default okay so rest of the rest of the things i am not changing anything okay so i just uh, go for to the right to save this informations wherever i want to save this okay so i'll build directions so test demo that only i will save so simply click on the run so it will take a few minutes time to finish this process so we have to wait for uh, the results should come okay so once the result will come we will going to show you the results okay so as of now this uh, is done successfully so let's see the results so if you see here there is a separate oil spill detections is already came so if you click this go to the mask okay and this is see here uh, this is sigma value which will get it over here okay so this is how we separate out the oil spill from the sar images now if you want to calculate this um, the area total area how uh, you can do this so you can say uh, do this in arcgis pro also okay so for that you need to save this informations first okay and then we have to uh, take it in arcgis pro okay so let's see how to do that 
no uh, before you can save this uh, you can uh, do this uh, the what i said the geometric terrain corrections is need to apply over this image okay so you can go for uh, geometric terrain correction range doppler terrain corrections okay so that's what we need to do it over the data okay so let's uh, apply it and make it correct so i already selected this oil spilled area so in the processing okay so you can see here it is wgs 24 okay so you can select it here and accordingly okay so you can change uh, uh, that is uh, utm okay so that is better you can go with the uh, utm automatically okay so it will select the utm automatically okay so you see here utm w74 automatic if you select it so it is automatically selecting the uh, the zone locations also for this particular image okay so rest of the thing is fine so you just simply click on run and uh, let's wait for the results see this now processing is completed so now it is actually saved properly okay so we can just uh, save it to a separate band also or you can save it uh, okay there also just see here okay just a minute we can so this is the way we are actually just extracted okay so the oil spill areas okay if you see here uh, i already just uh, described you like how we are going to extract it okay like this is the uh, sigma naught area which you need to go with this okay so first you have to do the iso cluster okay so to do the classifications over the data so once you do the iso clusters then you have to uh, get this information okay so in a raster so once it is a raster okay so you need to go to the <coughs> raster to polygon conversion okay so you need to give input of this okay so once it is converted as a polygon okay so then you can go with this polygon use this particular attribute query okay use the selection by query like the grid code is equal to 2 because 2 is your target value apply it for the this uh, the oil spill and then once you select it just right click go to the data and export the features that's all and final output you will get the oil spill area so you can calculate the area of that okay and you see i just added uh, one more uh, like these two are coming by default so you can click on the add okay and you can go for this double okay and uh, you can save this and then you can calculate the area also for this the same way okay you see here just right click okay then uh, you can go to calculate geometry area okay square kilometer and that's all so you can go for the more you can go for it so this is way you can calculate the square kilometer area of that particular oil spill that's all from my side so if you like this video please share this video to others and give your comments thank you